Harmonic mean or harmonic average is very important for the calculation or computation of uh, wages or costs or incomes or expenses or productions. So in this class we are going to compute the problem on harmonic mean and uh, welcome all of you one more time and hopefully you are doing well today. It's time to compute harmonic mean as I have said and uh, firstly we are going to see the given problem and considering the problem data we have to solve the problem. In a certain factory a unit of work is completed by A in 10 minutes, by B in 15 minutes by C in 12 minutes and by D it is 20 minutes. So we have to compute here two different requirements. Number one, what is the average number of units of work completed per minute? And number two, at this rate how many units will they complete in 8 hour day? The problem you have seen, we have to compute two different requirements. So first we have to compute the average units production along with in a day, I mean 8 hours a day, what should be the production units. So let's see how we can compute this problem. Before going to use the formula, we have to write a few words why we are going to use the harmonic mean. So the number of average units of work per minute. that can be obtained by the harmonic mean. So this is why we are going to compute harmonic mean and uh, we will write here the formula we know harmonic mean which is called as HM as well. So, shorter version of the formula, at first we will write N divided by sum of 1 by Xi, where I represents the value of different variables. And if we want, then we can extend this formula like this n1 divided by x1 plus 1 divided by x2. And in this manner, it should be considered till to the nth period, so xn. So this is the basically the formula of harmonic mean and uh, now we can explain here the components of the formula where n represents number of observations and xi values of the given variable or observations. So, values of the given variables or observations. So, here you can see there are four different workers and uh, their different values. So, x a produce 10 units per minute and x b 15 units and c 12 units and finally D 20 units. So given information and number of observations as you can see 4, 4 persons, 4 workers. So it should be 4. 
So we have given information and we have considered from the given problem as you can see right at that part. So we can just input into this equation 4, 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 15 plus 1 divided by 12 and finally 1 divided by 20. So this is the input of data given and now we have to compute. So we will get here 0 0.1 plus we have 0 0.067 then 1 divided by 12 it is 0 0.083 and finally 1 divided by 20.05 so 4 and we have to sum this fraction number and we will get 0.3 and 4 divided by 0.3 we will have 13.33 units per minute so it is actually the average rate therefore we can just consider average units per minute per minute we can write 1 divided by 13.33 so it will be 0 0.075 so 0 0.075 unit should be the average units per minute so this would be the first requirement now we are going to compute the next requirement where we will see what would be the number of production in eight hours so let's see time equal eight hours and we have to convert it into the minutes so we have to multiply by 60 minutes in an hour so if we multiply we will get here 180 minutes so uh, we can find total number of units produced by the workers and the formula we can consider minutes multiplied by harmonic mean multiplied by here n so minutes as you can see 418 number of workers 4 so it should be 4 and harmonic mean HM we have computed 0 0.075 here we will write 480 minutes multiplied by 0 0.75 unit and four workers so if we multiply all of them then we will get 144 units of production by all four workers so 144 units would be the production by four workers 
8 hours a day in a, a day they actually work for 8 hours if they work 8 hours they can produce 144 units so this is the computation of two different requirements first on we have seen there the average unit produced by the workers and then we have found uh, what is the number of units produced by the four workers in eight hours so this is how you can compute if you are asked to compute this kind of problem and hopefully you have come to understand and come to learn how to solve this hopefully it will be very helpful in your near future if you are given this type of problem for today i'm telling you all to goodbye hopefully we will be meeting in next some classes till then stay happy and blessed Thank you.